Germany's leader Angela Merkel on Sunday, seen here marching arm in arm with other world leaders following last week's terror attacks in Paris. Yet while Germany's political mainstream are voicing solidarity with the country's four million Muslims, others are focusing on Islam's place in Germany. The two-year-old alternative for Germany became a potent political force with its push to get Germany to quit the euro. Now, the party's co-chairman, Konrad Adam, has said that more of the political debate has to focus on whether Muslims are prepared to integrate into German society. Tonight, Monday, another walk against the perceived Islamization of the West will be taking place in Dresden. Organised by Pegida, or Patriotic Europeans Against the Islamization of the West, the gathering started 12 weeks ago with a couple of hundred people. Last week, 18,000 people took part. On Pegida's Facebook page, the group urged those walking to bring German flags, that they'll be holding a vigil for the victims in both Nigeria and in Paris. On Saturday, 35,000 people gathered in Dresden against what Pegida stand for, where the city's mayor, Helmer Oros, described Germany as a, quote, home for all. However, even before the terror attacks in Paris, evidence was mounting over the growing disenchantment among Germans about Islam in society. A Bertelsmann Stiftung survey released on Thursday found that the share of non-Muslim Germans who viewed Islam as incompatible with the Western world rose to 61% in November last year. That's a rise of 11% since 2012. On Sunday, the potential for violence was highlighted in Hamburg. Police detained two people on suspicion of an arson attack on a local newspaper. A newspaper which reprinted Charlie Hebdo cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad on its front page. Now, several other national and local German newspapers who publish the cartoons are under police protection. <laughs>